Welcome to Tea with Willie D. Welcome to Tea with Willie D. Welcome to Tea with Willie D. A low key stress free oh. <laughs> vibe, but we're here to do nothing more than spread love and some dope ass energy. A low key stress free vibe, but we're here to do nothing more than spread love and dope ass energy. I am Willie D, CEO of Loving You Productions and talk show host of the Facebook Live Show, thinking in this very here show, Tea with Willie D. I've decided to own my power and step out into the world on this exciting new journey as my own boss. I am making it my mission to remind the world that human connection is real and there is power in conversation. We all have unique lives and journeys and there's so much to learn from each other. Jazz and I met on the national tour of the Bodyguard musical where she was playing the principal character Nikki Marin and also covering the iconic Whitney role of Rachel Marin. During the rehearsal process, I went through it. I was covering seven tracks in the show I'd never seen before. My uncle Tex passed suddenly away, and during week two, I remember grabbing something, and Jasmine asked me if I was okay. Of course, I responded with a fake answer, and she quickly asked, are you smiling because you're okay, or because you're trying not to break down? I will never forget how that made me feel. A stranger saw beyond my physical and spoke to my soul. We have since traveled the world, eaten everything under the sun, cried, complained, and dreamed together. And though none of it was simple or easy, it is our story and is real. And today, she shares her black girl magic on this Black Boy Joys platform. For the first guest of 2019, bring in Jasmine Richardson, Broadway's Jasmine <laughs> This is my very special guest, Jasmine Richardson, actress, singer, producer, directing, good friend. Where's the real camera? Good friend good showing friend. up for the gigs. Um, we met on tour, the Bodyguard mm -hmm. tour. I'm sure you've seen plenty of pictures. Uh, I, the thing I love about Jasmine, the reason I brought her here today, is yes, she works very hard and she's extremely talented. Like, she's got the package. But it is rare to find people who keep their soul and that's not easy because that's a mouthful. That's, yeah, in the like that doesn't mean her soul is perfect. None of our souls are perfect. Right. That's why it's hard. Our souls are weighted. And but you're working we, on it every day every to day. remain a good person, on top of everything else. Yes, and mm -hmm. especially in an industry where you have to, mm -hmm. in my experience, you have to have a certain kind of ego to you know what I mean, like a little bit of narcissism. A little bit of narcissism if you have walked into a room. Self involved. Yes, people want but you to be a product. They want you to have that. There's it. a balance. But yes. Yeah. And some people don't know that. They're still discovering <laughs> they fall, You can fall either way, that. though. Yeah, yeah some it's people... very easy. We're human. We're human. Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. She's Houston, Texas. She's a Texas girl. Yeah, so you... Uh, she's a Texas girl. <laughs> Y'all, Texas is right. But uh, Houston, lives. I mean, Texas is really taking over. Really, yeah. truly. Everywhere I go, because I live on, I live in L.A. and in New York. And so... By coastal. Expensive. But, <laughs> so there's a lot of us, yeah. a lot of Texans everywhere. So, yeah, I started doing theater, like, my senior year of high school, okay. because it wasn't popular. I was an athlete, so yeah. I did, like, track and field, went to state, all so of that, 400. show of my arms. Yeah. <laughs> and then I decided to just randomly go in and audition for The Wiz. Yeah. Somehow booked it. Telling you, I don't Somehow, know. Somehow, she got the gift from God. Then got nominated for like a Tommy Toon Award for Best Actress. If you are familiar Take with sex, <laughs> like Tuts and all that That's stuff. And I was like, big. had no clue. I mean, there are people that have been like working towards this thing. And I yeah. was like, thank you, Jesus. This seems cool. I had no clue. And then I auditioned and got into my theater program, Abilene Christian University in West Texas. So you went and straight into theater? Like, I went straight in. No like resume. People had resumes yeah. for like community <laughs> theater. I was like... I could sing a song for you. Like I, So when you first moved to New York, was it was Broadway? Uh, it was the goal, the yeah. goal, the goal. <laughs> Getting up six in the morning, running to these auditions, sitting outside in the cold. I was right. going in for everything, Willie. Really. I was going in for white men roles, black <laughs> men roles. If they were just, just fifty year old seen. women, I was like, no, I I just was fearless. Yeah. That is the one thing I can say about myself back then for sure. I was fearless because I just didn't know. The, yeah. the discipline <laughs> of it all is what I love. It's like I just I just was fearless you back know. then. I learned how to just be committed, dedicated, and keep pushing. And that's I learned yeah. that from sports for sure. So yeah, I applied it. Do you still this. play sports? Do you still run? Sure. That's when people that's ask that. me yeah. about my body, they're like, Girl, how do you keep I'm like Black girl magic. magic. <laughs> black girl magic. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this all in my uh, Black History Month segments. Please. Every guest is gonna be black, guys. Okay. <laughs> 
Y'all gave me a platform and I'm screaming. Oh my god. Yeah, she get ready. So Carrie Washington, Taraji, Oprah. What did, Ter what did Carrie say? She said, if Carrie doesn't do it, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? That I have taken that motto into 2019. If Jasmine doesn't do it, who's going to do it? For real. <laughs> but literally they were like, Carrie, you're on YouTube, you're in web series, you're in movies, you're mm -hmm. on TV, on you're Broadway. in commercials, you're on Broadway. She was like, No, nothing. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes and, and yes. <laughs> she was like, if I don't do it for me, with two kids, with and a and a husband. Carrie Washington has two children. Yes, she does. Y'all. Yes, she does. How she I does could barely keep a man <laughs> <laughs> to watch my Instagram story. That's that's a whole other video. <laughs> focus on why we're here because that positive energy do we have thing. the time can, can we talk about the mental health oh can't do anything one of my favorite topics to talk about is mental mm -hmm. health because what i think outside of just being a beautiful brown woman mental health in this business is so important because most of the times you're getting these no's it's really tough it's hard to away from your times. family nine out of t 10 out of 10 times you get <laughs> I don't think, can I, uh, she was a principal character on tour mm. and on top of that covering someone and if you've never covered anyone no matter if you're covering one track or seven Ooh. it is there's just a stress to knowing that your day can change like the that. Of an eye. But in saying that, people see, oh, you're the star of a show, mm -hmm. you're in these hotels, you're checking in at all these restaurants, you're going right. out to eat. It's also like they don't realize you don't have, you're not on the same timeline as your family. Right. You're not growing in the same life experiences. The biggest people. thing was missing things. Missing weddings, missing seeing my niece grow up. You know, and they're still little right now, yeah. my niece is, but... You know, that was the biggest thing. And mental, mentally, I wasn't as equipped as I thought I was to handle it. I had to get a therapist on the road. That was so vital. And it what changed my perspective. Because I was having a meltdown. I couldn't see my blessings in front of me. I couldn't appreciate what was in front of me anymore because I was so overwhelmed by the experience. Mm -hmm. And I was away from my person because I do have a man. And I was away from him. And it was really overwhelming. And I found myself wanting to do things and doing things that was not normal to who I am, my core. So I had to get a therapist and it really helped me unpack things that I didn't know that I was holding on to, that I didn't know that I was struggling with, that I didn't know really impacted my day to day. So mental health is vital. And I say that with actors because when you're gigging, it feels great. When you're booked and blast, it feels amazing. <laughs> yes. But when you're in between those gigs is when you really do struggle. And I and see it regularly. Work, you forget because you attach your self-worth to what you do. And really yes. we're so much more, so much more. Because yeah, right now it's like such a conversation mental mm -hmm. health. But and some people are like, oh, I don't want to talk about this. Now it's getting trendy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but no, as a people, like mm -hmm. we are a vibing energy. Right. We are. That's what I love about doing these shows. That's is I learn connecting, connecting. Ooh. But I love that you are able to grasp that when you aren't feeling okay, it is right. not okay just to go through you have to fix yourself Absolutely. you have to put the work in because it's also very stressful trying to do it all i saw someone post about that trying to do it all no you have to get down to the core of who you are what is your purpose what do you want to do and sometimes that is very simple like i just want to impact my community in whatever way that is so that is my purpose my community is the people around me the people that um support me have my back and even those that don't like it's bigger than oh. just me hey, acting uh, is bigger than just me like that? there's many multiple ways of sharing your gift and i had yes. to learn that okay so what are you here to promote today <laughs> what are you what are you working on so i am working on we black girl sheds her chameleon skin i am directing a show my first I'm directing a show at Congrats. the Bergdor Bergdorf Performing Arts Center in Maplewood, New Jersey um, during Black History Month, February Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> for the culture, about the culture, okay. as in well as culture. for everybody, yes. okay? We are the culture. So, yeah, it's February uh, 16th through the 17th, okay. and we're really excited about it because it really just covers everything, racism. Um, sexism, coming of age, because we all can relate to that. Those yeah. are things, we, themes we can all relate to in some capacity. And um, I love it because it's written by a wonderful, incredible African American playwright, Kirsten Childs. Um, and primarily our creative team is mostly black. Um, and I'm really excited Which about okay, that. Which is okay, guys. Which is great, great. because you don't <laughs> ever see it. No. It's because no. I want to tell, we're telling a story that's very familiar and, and, and common for people that look like me yes um but it's relatable because it's just about people living their lives so that's yes. that's relatable well, yes <laughs> but it's nice to have people that look like you behind behind the scenes behind the table which i really i don't think i've ever had a, a, a black creative team 
and I think it's really important. And I think the purpose and of me done doing Dreamgirls. I've done a thousand shows, but the purpose of it for me is to take these young performers that are new in their career. They're they're professionals, but they're new in their career and help them and to learn how to embody a character, what it's like to be a professional on another level. Um, because we have some major people supporting this production financially and in the community of Maplewood, New Jersey, and South Orange. So yes. we're very, very, very excited to yeah. have the the collaboration, the support of uh, South Orange and Maplewood Coalition supporting us with it, um, ran by some incredible women. Hey. Name of the show again. The Bubbly the... Black Girl Sheds Her Chameleon Skin by Kirsten Childs. Where can we see it? At the Bergdorf Performing Arts Center, February 16th through the 17th. Two shows Saturday. Two shows Saturday, one show Sunday with a talk back with hey, the cast hey. and creative team. On Sunday night. How did you get into <laughs> directing? Got into it because I really wanted to be on the side of things. I always get frustrated with little things in in the industry, mm -hmm. not because it's the industry industry's fault, but it's our fault it as a community. The it can be, but it's we are the industry. We're really the yes. community. So I was uh, yes. tired of not seeing changes. So I said, well, you need to be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. And Gregory Omar Osborne, who is my producer and one of my closest friends. Um, is is the driving force behind this he's been so supportive and he asked me to do it so it wasn't like i just woke up and wanted to do it he yeah. was like hey i'm doing something i think would be awesome to have a, a a black woman directed and be at the helm of this and i was like i don't know if i could do this what, say, what is your instant reaction what do you i mean fear friend yeah and then i was i really take it on as like this is another way to share your gift because yeah. i have I don't, you know, I have experience. It's not like, oh, I've done a thousand Broadway well, no. shows, but I have some experience with a lot of different, you know, theater projects. And yeah. I would love to pass She's that knowledge very on. very humble. I'm like, you, I'd be charging these. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, uh-huh, we'll what's my We'll get to that later. Fee? She's okay, working that's, on that's number of things. That's <laughs> fees, sweetie. Used to be thank yous, now it's... No. <laughs> okay. You are Can something my else, but... Can you got my check? <laughs> I am Willie D, talk show host extraordinaire. This is my very beautiful and special guest, Jasmine Richardson. Ooh. You can find her online at jazzy underscore sweet thing. Sweet thing or sweet tang? Sweet thing. <laughs> <laughs> what was she going through when she gave herself that name? College. She didn't say, she oh, my young. Instagram it wasn't is going to be my, I, told my you, I was on tour. Oh. So she was a full she adult. She was grown. Okay. Pain well, girl. at that point... <laughs> Foolish goat. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna move into my two of my favorite sections because yes. it has nothing to do with Megan. I'm going to get out of your frame. <laughs> About time. Well, okay. <laughs> well, we're doing your moment. If you had your own Just platform, all. you know, this is this is the new one. If you had your own platform <laughs> today and you had to share something with the world. What do you want to share? Sixty seconds and go. Just do it. Just do it. It is scary. Saying yes to yourself is the hardest thing you will ever do because it's so easy to listen to other people tell you you can't do it. Trust yourself. Go for it. You have nothing to lose. You literally have one life. And if you can't commit to yourself, you definitely can't commit to others. So just commit to yourself, whatever that is. And that's something I did definitely learn from watching Willie D's show. It's like what it's meant for you will always come to you. You can always trust that. And you are enough. You are enough. You have everything you need to do it. So the next section of today mm -hmm. is your voice. Okay. When your soul passes on, when you move through this life, what timbre do you want to leave with those who have seen your journey? My biggest thing is I want people to be left with the fact that she did it. Whatever that is. Like, she committed to herself. She loved hard. She supported others. Um, that's the biggest thing, is how people felt when they were in your presence. Or I, I hope people feel loved. Even if I don't know people, I usually try to have a, a, a positive light energy and encouraging, an encouraging energy. Um, I want people to know that um, I'm trying like everybody else and that I really, really want us all to be successful in whatever that means for you because that's all relative. You know, having a family, being a, a stay-at-home stay at home mom, that is success. Being on Broadway, that is success. Loving hard and being there for your parents when they get sick, that is success. There is no equivalent on what that means. Like, I'm learning that to just trust myself in that I am enough. That, that's everything. That's it's it. the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. If it's something I tell myself every day. You have to affirm yourself every day because every day I wake up and go, Somebody gonna do it better than me. Why am I even trying to do this? What am I doing with my life? I've had so many moments. So many moments. What am I doing with my life? But I was on are. Broadway saying, what am I doing?
doing with my life? Yeah. You happened. are in though. You like, you are doing it. You have done it, and you are now moving. Just I remember Alex trying. Ellis said to me, "When you book Broadway, what's next? What do you want after that?" Yeah, and that I was said, a big, that was the hardest oh, question I had. I what's was like, next? "So what's next? You just keep going from show to show, yeah. okay?" But then. <laughs> If so that doesn't happen, what else happens exactly. for yourself? Yeah. Guy, thank you so much thank for, for being a part of this. I'm Willie D, talk show host. Um, please follow, subscribe, like Willie D with three E's. Jasmine, find her on Instagram, Twitter at Jazzy underscore Sweet Thing. Yeah. Follow Progressive Theater. Yes. That's also our Shout out the show company. again. The bubbly black girl sheds her chameleon skin. Where can they see it? The Bergdorf Performing Arts Center in Maplewood, New Jersey, February 16th to the 17th. Tickets, can I tell them what about tickets? Yes. <laughs> GregoryOmarOsborne.com slash progress. Progress. Slash progress. Then, Our producer progress. did that on purpose because he wants to see who buying tickets. <laughs> and okay, I'm not yeah. mad at that. <laughs> so you have to go to his site to do it. Because <laughs> so. we're trying to reinvest that money back into doing productions like Bubbly. So, yeah. The support, the support. support. Thank you for joining us on Tea with Willie D. Thank you thank for you being for here. Me. Thank you for sharing thank your you so Of course, much. like, <laughs> thank you. Keep keep on keeping on. It's what is hump day, hump day. We're almost through the week, it's Wednesday. I love Jesus, I don't know about no Okay. Holidays. I love Jesus, but I drink a little. Hello, <laughs> and curse just enough. Okay. Loving you. Loving you. <laughs>